organic nitrates and sildenafil, a potential drug interaction. First of all, let us see what are the organic nitrates. So drugs in this category include nitroglycerin, isosorbide dinitrate and isosorbide mononitrate. All these are the organic nitrates. Organic nitrates are generally expressed by the molecular formula RONO2. So now these organic nitrates when administered into the body, they can release the nitric oxide by enzymatic as well as the non-enzymatic process. This nitric oxide acts as a potential mediator which produces the vasodilatation of the vascular smooth muscle. In this way, organic nitrates can increase the blood supply. They can also increase the coronary blood supply. So they are used in the treatment of the angina as anti-anginals. In this way, organic nitrates act as vasodilators because of the release of nitric oxide. Now let us see about the sildenafil. So related drugs with the sildenafil include tadalafil and vadenafil. All these are the related drugs. And these drugs are going to increase the cyclic GMP levels within the vascular smooth muscle. Actually cyclic GMP within the corpus cavernosum of the erectile tissue, it is responsible for the activation of protein kinase G. And when this protein kinase G is activated, it controls the calcium entry into the membrane. So on activation, this decreases the calcium entry into the membrane, thereby it prevents a contraction resulting in the vasodilatation. In this way, cyclic GMP can produce vasodilatation in the corpus cavernosum. And this cyclic GMP is also metabolized to the GMP, which is mediated by a group of uh, enzymes like phosphodiesterase enzymes. So one such type of uh, enzyme is the PDE5, phosphodiesterase type 5 enzyme, which is inhibited by sildenafil. So in this way, sildenafil increases the cyclic GMP levels, thereby it produces the vasodilatation. Now let us see the interaction between the organic nitrates and sildenafil. So already we have seen that organic nitrates are going to increase the nitric oxide release. This released nitric oxide then activates the gonyl cyclase enzyme GC. This gonyl cyclase enzyme will convert the GTP into cyclic GMP. Now the cyclic GMP is acting like a important secondary messenger within the vascular smooth muscle. And normally cyclic GMP is going to inhibit the MLCK active form which is required for the contraction of the vascular smooth muscle. MLCK, myosin light shine kinases, when they are activated, they are responsible for the conversion of the myosin light shines into the myosin light shine phosphate. When the MLC is phosphorylated to MLC phosphate, then it can bind with the actin to produce the actin myosin complex, which brings the contraction of the vascular smooth muscle. As cyclic GMP is going to inhibit this MLCK active form, it will prevent the contraction. Actually, cyclic GMP is going to convert the MLCK into its inactive form so that it really prevents the contraction resulting in the relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle. So in this way, organic nitrates release the nitric oxide which can produce the vasodilatation. Now let us see how the sildenafil is acting at this stage. As already we have seen, cyclic GMP can be converted into GMP by the enzymes the phosphodiesterase type 5 enzyme. Now sildenafil is going to block this enzyme thereby it inhibits the metabolism of the cyclic GMP into the GMP. In this way sildenafil also increases the cyclic GMP levels thereby it enhances the nitric oxide mediated vasodilatation of the organic nitrates. Now organic nitrates and sildenafil. Organic nitrates produce a vasodilatation and they produce a coronary vasodilatation as well as the peripheral vasodilatation. So this results in decrease in the blood pressure and thereby it produces hypotension. Similarly, sildenafil can also act as a vasodilator but it mainly produces the vasodilatation within the corpus cavernosum. Now both organic nitrates and sildenafil are acting like vasodilators. But organic nitrates are not having any action on the corpus cavernosum but sildenafil can show its action on the peripheral blood vessels. 
So when the sildenafil is given, it can produce a peripheral vasodilatation, which enhances the vasodilatory response produced by organic nitrates. So in this way, this combination produces uh, a more high potency effect because of action of sildenafil. So what are the effects with this combination? As we have seen, the one of the important effect is the severe hypotension. Because there is an enhanced vasodilatory response of the organic nitrates by sildenafil, we can observe a severe hypotension. And another effect is the reduced coronary blood flow. As the blood pressure is uh, significantly reduced, the pressure is not sufficient to pump the blood into the coronary blood vessels, thereby the coronary blood flow is also going to be decreased. So as the coronary blood flow decreases, it may increase the risk of the angina. So that's why this combination may further deteriorate the angina condition by reducing the coronary blood flow. And this combination may precipitate the sudden cardiac failure and death in the treated patients. So that's why this combination should be avoided as it produces uh, severe hypotension and risk of the angina leading to sudden cardiac failure and death in the patients. So this is a potential drug interaction between the organic nitrates and sildenafil.